Hi everyone, Alex here. Um, so today I want to talk about making collages. So one of the things that I really love about Jose's work is that they look like um, they could be walls in the city that have been um, either deteriorating or painted over. And you notice in a lot of his paintings there are a lot of scraps and words taken from posters and um, other memorabilia left on walls. So I made two collages. Um, the first one is very color focused, as you can see. Um, I pulled out a lot of purples and pinks and darker purples. Another thing I did is that I pulled out a lot of words that I thought um, were interesting. Um, and then in the other one that I created, I actually cut out proper images, as you can see, and I used those images to guide me through making this collage. So um, I think everyone can make a collage with materials at home. So as long as you have scissors, um, a glue stick, or Elmer's glue, you are ready to make a collage. So collages first became popular in the early 1900s when artists like Georges Braque and Picasso started adding um, different forms and assembling them together um, to create a new image. Um, and basically that's what collage is. It's just assembling different materials together to create a new form. So like I said, when you're ready, you can get all of your magazines, newspapers, um, catalogs, whatever you have that is okay for you to cut and look through and tear. Um, you can make a pile of those on one side of the table. And then you can have your paper um, and your supplies near you as well. So like I said, I started by creating three stacks. Um, one of lots of words that I found in magazines. So for example, I might want to tear this word or any other words that I see. Um, and you can also cut them if you want. You don't have to tear them, but I just like tearing because it adds a really nice texture to the collage. Um, and then my other pile has a bunch of different colors. So I have a lot of blue paper, smaller blue, purplish colors. So that will be my color pile. And then I actually pulled out um, a couple of images that I had cut out that I liked. So I cut out this hand, I cut out this face, um, and I have those ready. And now you can pull out your paper and you can start assembling all of the different tears and cutouts um, onto the paper. Um, so it's really up to you how you wanna lay out your collage, but I always recommend that before you start gluing, you just kind of plan where you might want everything to go. And that might depend on the shape it might depend on the color. So for example, here I have a lot of um, purplish colors and then I have this image of a face that I'm gonna cover. Um, and I'm just gonna keep planning. And there's no right or wrong way of how things should be placed on the paper, um, just as long as you um, think it looks good. So if you're using a glue stick, you can just move it up and down the piece of paper that you're going to be gluing down um, and just don't press too hard um, and try to cover the whole back of the paper. That way, when you glue it, all of the edges will be pasted down. And if they're not, you can always just take the glue stick and just add a little bit more glue. So 
So I'm just going to be adding all of the colors here. And it doesn't matter how you glue them, but if you had planned to lay them out in a certain way, you might want to glue them that way so that they can look like you had planned for them to. So I hope everyone had a really fun time making these collages. Um, they're really easy to make. We usually have all of these supplies at home. You don't usually have to go out and buy stuff. Um, and it's nice to take something old that you might not be using anymore, like scraps of paper and old magazines and newspapers and create something new. So I hope you guys can share what you've made. We'll put more information in the comment section. Um, and thanks for watching.